Hey everybody, Kathy here with Pain Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Uh, today we are doing something different. Well, welcome back, first of all. I'm glad you could join us because this is going to be kind of exciting. Um, I already flooded my canvas, my 10 by 20 canvas, with a yellow and a blue golden fluid acrylic into my house paint, which is Color Place from Walmart, ready to use white satin parentheses, no glue, no water, no silicone in it, just plain old house paint. But today what we're doing is I went under the bed, two beds, into the archives and pulled out some of my seven year old golden acrylic paints. I can't believe it. You still have those. Now I have like four bins of these, every color you can think of. So I brought these back from Illinois and we've been here three yeah. and a half years. Yes. So I thought, hmm, I'm gonna pull out some different colors that I haven't used and why buy them if they're still good? I don't know if they're still good, we're gonna find out today. So I opened them and this is what I came across. <laughs> Quite a glob there. Oh, it's a right. glob. So what you do with this glob is you only take like maybe that much, put it into your pouring medium cup. Now, as you can see, my pouring cups are only three ounces. And you have to stir, 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 because it's going to um, all of a sudden start to go. Then you're gonna see all these like little things floating around, it's like, ew. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, okay, stir, 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 stir. Look at what I got. Oh yeah, it looks just like... It's perfect. Just like new. It's perfect. Now, whether it shows like that on the canvas, who knows? But this is my experiment because I'm in my golden years. <laughs> so I figured I'd use my golden paints. There we go. Okay. So we're okay. going to see ones. So I think today you're going to be doing a stacked and layered swipe. Swipe. Using uh, seven different golden, golden paints that you dug out from under the bed. Right. And then mix those with some of your current pigments, correct? Yes. Okay. And then I also am going to layer my cell activator. Well, that's right. My four cell activators in these. So... My, these are all golden, so I'm not going to keep saying golden because they're all golden. The first one is Permanent Violet Cobalt. This is a light green yellow shade. Cadmium yellow. Iridescent gold coarse. Now they have fine and coarse and I think a medium. This is uh, medium magenta, and this is cadmium orange, and they're all golden. Now, my pigments in each one of these is Snapdragon by Primary Elements, Stargazer by Primary Elements, Lucky Apple Primary Elements, Lemon Drop Primary Elements, This Little Piggy Harvest Gold, Watermelon Mist Primary Elements, and Tangerine Orange by Arteza. The pigments are mixed in with my golden paints. Okay, my cell activators are. Now those are gonna be layered between the... Af after okay. each two. Okay. Red Velvet by Amsterdam. Ultramarine Violet by Amsterdam. Phalo Green by Amsterdam. Turquoise by Amsterdam. And then my final layer, I mean my cell activator, which you all know, is my black magic. And that is Floetrol and black uh, paint. You, black paint of your choice that you can use. Carbon black, oxide black, whatever you want. So, we're going to get started now. And... Uh, this sounds like it's going to be quite the... Well, I'm kind of anxious to see how these yeah, uh, goldens exactly. are that are seven years old. Exactly if they still have the oomph. <laughs> but, I mean, they should. If you buy quality paints, people, they should last. 
Okay, so now you've stacked two of your colors. Correct. I did the permanent violet okay. and the cobalt. Okay, so now, now I'm layering my first cell activator, which is red violet. Now onto my swipe color again, which is light green yellow shade. Next one is cadmium yellow. And remember, these are all golden that are like seven years old. <laughs> I'll have the descriptions of all these colors in the uh, description box, or the names of all the this colors. This is my CA next one, which is ultramarine violet. Sorry to cut you off, Phil, but no, you had to no. do that. This is golden iridescent coarse. Next one is my medium magenta. My next cell activator is phthalo green. Come on, almost out of this puppy. It doesn't want to join the party. Well, it's going on, it has no choice. My last color is my cadmium orange. And, you have and then more. I have one more cell activator, which is turquoise. And my cell activator colors are all by Amsterdam. And they're simply mixed with Clotro. <sighs> Correct. Okay. So basically what you've done is you've stacked colors and then layered cell activators of different colors between them. Correct. Okay. So that's where the stacked layered name comes from. Right. Now okay. I'm going to swipe. We're going to see what happens. Well, it looks like the paints are working, even though they're in their golden years like me. But I'll tell you people, um, if, you, if you purchase uh, quality paints, they should last. Yeah, you keep them stored in a reasonable right. place um, <laughs> under the bed. <laughs> well, I could never store them here in the garage or no, anything it's too hot. because it's too hot. Yes. Oh, wow. Wowie. But yeah, if you store them in a, a cool, dry place, uh, you're going to be fine. Wow, that purple's really taking over, isn't it? Yeah, at the moment, it's uh, it's wanting to be the top dog on this one. Well, we're going to have to see just how much top dog it's going to be. And purple was the first color you put down, actually. Yeah. Well, it's, it's okay. okay. Ah! <laughs> that was fine. We both said at the same time. Oh, well, you can tell we lived together for the many years. Now we're even talking the same. Ooh, here's a little bit of green popping up. This is going to be cool, I think, Phil. The colors are working. So. The mm -hmm. colors are really working. Well, we definitely know the purple is. Wow, they just keep popping, don't they? Mm-hmm. That's cool. I'm so excited because I have so many of these under the bed. I better start going under there again. Yeah, that's for sure. Gosh. I thought the bed felt a little lumpy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. That painting on the wall over there, was that done with the golden paints? Yep. Okay. All of those were. While you're doing a little swiping there, I'm just going to show. This is what Kathy used the golden paints for many years ago. She did a fun little acrylic painting with our last name, uh, of course, in there. And then she just does kind of a, a funky abstract coloration and cells and 
uh, on there. So yeah, she used to always use golden paints for her acrylic paintings. I didn't, uh, I didn't use anything but golden back home in Illinois. Everything I did was with golden. That was my go-to. A lot of my go-to here in Arizona is Amsterdam. Well, that's for your cell activator. You use, you use a wide variety of products, so I, I can't say you have a... Well, you know, I don't go, use... You, 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 four, at least four different um, pigments. You use a lot of different paint varieties, so... Well, yeah, as you can see, I mean, yeah, so. this hole upstairs. There's a lot of wonderful products out there, and Kathy is an affiliate of Color Art Primary Elements and their products, pigments and so forth, uh, Arteza Paints and their products, and KS Resin. And we have some nice discount links in the description box if you need some supplies and want to save some money. I uh, use those discount links. Also, um, everyone, Phil can tell you we have a new baby in progress. Oh, I'm not me. I'm not. I'm not having a baby. Oh God, no. Um, we would love all of you to join uh, our paint pouring by Kathleen Miller on our Facebook group. Um, we launched it, and uh, we invite you all to join our Facebook group. Have fun with other friends. Post your creations. Um, you can post links to your videos too, and so forth. Right. Um, so join that. And also, we, you know, we'd love if you'd subscribe to our channel. Uh, we're trying to hit 10,000 by Christmas, and that would be your gift to me, and my gift to everyone else is my paintings. Well, I had, teaching and, and showing. Yeah, I, I had a comment today where um, a lady said, uh, can I please pay you to have a lesson? I don't expect any money for teaching you. Um, you can message me. You can comment to me. I will help you any way I can for free. I will not take your money. I'm here to have you enjoy my paintings, and I'm here to teach you. I don't expect anything from you because I love doing this. So I just want you all to learn and have fun with, with Phil and I. Because we look forward to this every single time we do a video. We look forward to having you all view it and tell us what you think. Yeah, I do. It's, it's kind of strange. We've gotten into a routine. Uh, almost every day we try to do a video. It's uh, just a fun thing to do. Keeps us uh, engaged and having fun. I'm not going to... Um... So we got the purple. I'm not going to cover this white up because I, I yeah. want to have some white. Right. The purple took over the first half, and the green is greens took over, and some of the uh, I guess the the golds and so forth. The second half is that strange? It's kind isn't of it? a strange way that we've got that swipe going, but I like the colors though. Yes. I love green and purple together. I think it's really pretty. So we're going to see. I'm going to do a little wrecking. You know, Phil, I always got to do my wrecking. Yes. Ugh. Okay. So on with our wrecking. You can see all of our beautiful cells, how they came up. Yes. So the different cell activator colors did their thing. They did their thing all right. So I hope everybody's having a good day today. Phil and I are having a good day. So far, anyways. <laughs> True. Uh, Kathy does have some links in the description box to her, what we call her preferred products. Uh, you can get a direct link if you're looking to get any paints or pigments or supplies. Uh, the puppy pool, the cake spinner, her uh, torch and so forth. Lots of different Direct hair links. Yeah, hair dryer. Yeah, the hair dryer and so forth. So uh, Kathy has used these products many times, really likes them, and they should work for you too. The 
This is cool. Yes. I really like the, the, the this size canvas. Because, the 10 by 20? Yeah, the 10 by 20s I do too. are real good for doing uh, swipes and so forth. Of course, Dutch pours and, and that sort of thing too, but it gives you plenty of room to be creative. Mm -hmm. That it does. Take a look at how Kathy does the wrecking lines where she did it right down the middle of the canvas and now she's adding, I guess, complementary lines through the paint and also the negative areas to kind of tie everything together. Okay, I think I'm done. Okay. We're going to see because I can always do more after if I yes. want. Yes. So. Okay, abracadabra. Let's see what you're gonna do here. I'm thinking, oh, did I uh, tape this down? Uh, thank God I saw that. Okay, remember we can only go one way first, a little bit, and then the other way. And then we'll go from there. Yes. Oh man, look at these colors, Phil. Yes. Oh, this is cool. And it's pretty neat how this is really got, cool. Uh, and look at what the spinning does. The spinning expands those cells and the wrecking lines, uh, but it keeps the coloration of the cells intact. And then the black cell activator at the end outlines the cells very, very nicely. I love this. And you know what I'm so excited about? What? These golden paints still work. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. It, it, I, I, I'm really amazed. When you showed me how kind of globby and glumpy and thick those things were, I'm thinking there's no way that those things are going to perform. Because I was thinking but, to myself, you know, I, I don't think I can even use these. I'm going to have to throw out all these paints. And I mean, if I throw out all those, that's a lot of money because golden oh, yeah. uh, paints are pretty, they were pretty expensive when I bought them 70 years ago and they have gone up. But they, well, nowadays everything can be expensive, but it is. if you have a quality product, you don't need to use that no. much of it. It goes a long ways, and it lasts a long time. And, don't, and the quality of what you get out of it is well worth, worth it. it. But don't get excur excurged. Excurged. <laughs> don't get discouraged um, <laughs> with these golden paints because... When I started mixing, I just thought to myself, you know what, this isn't going to work. But if you keep mixing and mixing and just have patience, this is what you can achieve with your old paints. So don't throw them out because this goes to show you these are seven years old and they still work. Can you turn that so this is the bottom, not the other way? This way? No. Oh, this way. Yes. No. What? Oh, there. that way. <laughs> you should have said the we'll green. Well, okay. But yeah, I, I love these. I'm I'm really happy with this uh, creation. Yeah, me too. Well, you can look at it with the with the purple on the bottom. Now let's see it towards me. It's pretty. I like it this way too. I think it's real pretty that way. That is very pretty. I just can't get and it. And I like it. yeah. And I I like it. I like it either way. I would hang this either the long way or the other way. That's true. This it can be hung either way. You've got wonderful, colorful cells out of those paints and the pigments. Yeah, it's beautiful. I'm really excited. Okay, everybody, you know what? Um, in our next video, I have, uh, I think there's 10 canvases that are finished. and They're all down on my uh, dining room table now. I have seven more out in the garage that I'm finishing today, but the 10 I will show you tomorrow. And my 11 by 14 uh, canvas panel, what I did was I went and got an 11 by 14 frame. It's beautiful and you don't need the glass on the frame because there's three coats of varnish on it. I'll be showing you that also. But anyways- well, Wait a minute now, you know, you know what, uh, you know, usually seven year old paints, uh -huh. 
And you know what you should have done before that? Uh, Drink a 15-year-old scotch, because then if it didn't turn out, you wouldn't care. I wouldn't even see. <laughs> if I had scotch, that would be it. I'd be like beer. One beer, I'm flying. There we go. But yeah, I, I probably should have. Well, maybe next time we'll have a little, you know, vino when I'm showing the canvases. So, um, getting back to our talking, um, please subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy Phil and I. Uh, we try to make this fun for everybody. And uh, subscribe. Have a great day. Stay healthy. Stay well. And until the next time, bye, alligators.